Hey cats, it's Ed Trail Mix Bud here. Today, a review for you of a shoe that I've always been interested to pick up, but I haven't had the chance until now. We have the Pegasus Trail 4 Gore-Tex Edition. Arrived just at the right time for some winter wandering. Is it gonna be a water repellent wander or a damp squib? Let's find out. Thanks for tuning in people, it's always appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up like. It really helps out. Danke schön. This is a shoe that Pro Direct Running have supplied to me as part of their Black Friday discounts. Though they're not vetting my views before my valid viewers get to see them. The Pegasus Trail 4 Gore-Tex from Nike lands at 323 grams for my UK size 11 or US 12. I have to say on foot it does feel a touch longer than some other Nike models. I would suggest that if you are a fan of wearing a thinner sock then you may want to go down a half size. Also I guess if you've got a slightly narrower foot you could probably get away with a half size down. I'm getting a sure A durometer softness score in the midsole here of around about 30. So that makes it a touch more firm than the average of about 28 across all the shoes that I've tested so far. So certainly a little bit more cushion here than some of Nike's other React shoes. Is React the same in all Nike models? Well, the answer is clearly no. Width-wise, I've got about 11.8 centimeters here in the widest part of the forefoot and about 9.3 centimeters here in the heel. So it's certainly one of the narrower trail shoes that I've tested out. I say trail shoes, this is kind of like a in-between really road and trail really is quite light people almost threw it in the air then in my uk 11 i've got about 38 millimeters of heel stack here and around about 29 millimeters in the forefoot it does feel like you've got quite an aggressive drop here certainly not like a standard trail shoe these cost 101 pounds in the pro direct black friday running shoe sale there are other versions out there around that price if you want a link to this shoe over at pro direct please check out the description I have to say, out the box, this one's an absolute banger. Wish I'd picked it up before. The upper first. No complaints so far in terms of the upper. Lockdown easily achieved. Though do be aware, the standard Pegasus Trail 4 and the Gore-Tex versions are totally different. These have standard eyelets, where I believe you have fly wires on the other version of the shoe. Now, this ankle gaiter here is probably the thing you're most interested about. I've barely noticed it while I'm out running. It really is very soft and very flexible. I haven't had any sort of rubbing or any sort of abrasion from it. Probably gonna be good to keep out dirt and debris, and there's loads of that on my standard route right now. There's a golf course like on the other side of like a river, and that river's very high. There's lots of like branches, bits of twig, loads of mud and leaves around. So it's an ideal time to pick this one up. I do like the nice soft padding around the Achilles area here. There's quite a firm heel counter that does end off round about the middle of the React logo here on the side wall of the shoe. The tongue's reasonably padded. It doesn't need masses there. And I felt absolutely no lace tension whatsoever so far. I do like the reinforced areas that Nike have included here on the medial and lateral sides of the toe box. And that trail logo also acts as kind of like a reinforced sort of area to provide a bit more structure to the upper. My feet have certainly remained warm and dry across my initial runs, even using a slightly thinner sock. I guess if you're going out on some road to trail stuff, Stuff. you might be wearing a thicker sock don't think you'll have any major problems really it's still quite breathable i mean this is no technical trail shoe this is meant as some sort of middle ground and i think nike have hit it just right i did find the laces to be a little bit on the short side they do have some reflective bits on them which i think is a good idea if you're a fan of using a runner's knot though you could run into some problems it's doable but you need the skills of a seasoned seamstress to be able to tie a double knot if you're going to use a runner's knot here they're just a little bit on the short side pull tab in the back if you really need it i guess with a trail shoe and it's going to get muddy it could be useful and you have one on the tongue too but it's not really that hard to get into if you untie your shoes i'm a big fan of this upper there's very little that i dislike about it aside from those very short laces i'm going to give the pegasus trail 4 gore-tex a 2.9 for the upper after my initial runs midsole 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 now 
Now, React has always had a little soft spot in my heart ever since I picked up the Zoomfly Flynet, and the React that we have here is a little closer to what we had then. I think the implementation of it here works superbly well for a road to trail shoe. It's kind of one of those awesome shoes, really, that just feels good if you're running on anything, really, be it road or pavement, concrete, some like woodland areas or some gravel. Bit of an all-rounder, which aside from perhaps the midsole being a little too soft for traversing larger rocks or technical terrain, I'd say it's a superb do-it-all shoe for the winter. I'm finding this one a little bit more consistent across the footbed. Perhaps if you're a runner that doesn't really like those Nike Air units, then I think the full React implementation here could be fantastic for you. Just provides a nice cushion here without it being overtly tall and starting to feel slightly unstable. Though I do believe the heel-to-toe drop is a little bit more aggressive than Nike's 8mm. They state that on the website. I think it's more towards like a 10 or something and the React here reminds me a little bit I guess of the ride I found in the original Infinity Run. They have changed that shoe quite a lot since then. This isn't as soft as the Pegasus Trail 2. That was one of the softest React shoes I ever tried out but it's a very comfortable one to run in without feeling overtly soft and mushy. There's still a little bit of response there. It doesn't feel unstable. You can pick up the pace here. Yes, it's a shoe that's getting towards being a little heavier, but it doesn't feel overtly firm as you get in some other trail shoes. One thing I do like about this shoe is I think you're going to get some great durability and longevity from it. React is one of those materials that just really works when Nike gets the formula right. Overall, the midsole's just feeling nice and versatile. It's going to do a lot of things for a lot of people. So I think if you don't like the Pegasus 40 right now, this could make oddly a fantastic road alternative. I think this one's walking the tightrope between sort of cushion and stability and it's just right for me. And that midsole's soft enough to allow those slightly firmer ridges on the outsole to sort of sink in and it avoids that kind of trail shoe on the road feeling that you've probably all experienced at some time. I really like the midsole here and it seems like a lot of the viewers and my Strava followers do as well. So I think I'll probably give this one a 2.8 out of 3 so far for the midsole. I just perhaps wish there was slightly more of it. Perhaps this is even a better Pegasus than the standard Pegasus right now. Outsole now. Ow. The outsole ridges here are really quite pronounced. I'm measuring about four millimeters pretty much across the whole of the outsole. Some really good depth there. You'd be able to dig into some of those conker shells and leaves. Just providing an extra bit of security for me, certainly running in the dark as well. There's branches and all sorts of stuff out there. I even saw a mouse yesterday going to that sort of eight minutes per mile. Steady pace just feels really assured underfoot. The local routes for me have some standing water and loads of debris. I can see the peg trail outsole hitting the spot for this type of use. There are a few places I've noticed that mud does build up here in the outsole, but it's reasonably easy to clean. There aren't too many crevices here that are hard to get to. Just get your hard bristle brush out and you'll soon be there. I think if you can keep a shoe like this clean relatively regularly, then it's just going to improve the durability somewhat. Just makes you feel better when you put on a shoe that's been cleaned as well. Now, there's no major word on the rubber that they've used here. It does feel very similar to what we saw in the Pegasus 40 this year. Some of the actual designs of the lugs here are very close to that shoe as well. Though again, it bizarrely feels totally at home on any surface really. Better than a lot of road shoes I've tried out this year. So it's right up there in terms of versatility. Looking good for the outsole, though I guess if you're just running on roads, is it going to be too much for you? Could be one you can whip out when the winter really hits and Jack Frost is out there with some icy surfaces. I'll give it a 2.7 out of 3 so far for the outsole. Just lowered because of some of that real mud buildup in certain areas. Value now. I think the extra expense at retail for the Pegasus Trail 4 Gore-Tex is warranted over the standard Pegasus model, especially in the winter. And here's my reasoning behind that. Why not just call this the Pegasus Winter Edition? Everything here is built for their cold and wintry conditions. The shield just seems like some weird like middle ground that doesn't quite work. This is the true successor. Now, this isn't an absolute do-it-all trail model. I think if you're doing the really technical stuff, you'll probably want something a little bit more tuned in for that. But here in the UK, you know, trails for us are like foresty sort of areas, gravel, and like a bog. 
So if you're going to run through that, you're going to want something dedicated, aren't you? For practically everything else, this is going to do the job. If you're going up a mountain, obviously, you know, buy an absolutely dedicated trail shoe. On the discount prices, I think this one's a really good value option. It's certainly one I'm really pleased I picked up and it's going to be worth its weight in gold. Great out of the box as well in terms of build quality. I do have one of the Air Jordan 1s in the Gore-Tex and that as well just seem to be slightly better crafted. I don't know whether they make them somewhere else or something, but there's a better finish here. No dodgy glue marks or weird stitching. So that discounted price right now, which pretty much all of these are at, I think it's worth a 2.8 out of 3 for value after my initial runs. If I've totaled the scores up correctly for the Pegasus Trail 4 Gore-Tex, that gives us 11.2 out of 12 after my initial runs. So 93%, that's a banging score for a banging shoe. I can heartily recommend this one if you want some winter fun. It's actually one of the best Nike shoes out there, certainly this year. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Pegasus Trail 4 Gore-Tex down in the comments. Again, if you fancy picking this one up, go and check out the Lynx Pro Direct. I've still got a bunch of these in various different sizes at a great price. Quick musical interlude for you, getting my hip-hop Christmas selection in order. Of course, one of the top tracks for that is Christmas in Hollis by Run DMC. Absolutely fantastic groove to this one, complete with the obligatory sleigh bells. Always loved the way that Run DMC were able to find some breakbeats, layer over their own drum machine sounds, which gave more impact to the rhythms. Just nice and sort of pronounced beats there that a lot of other hip-hop acts were really lacking at the time, just sticking with breakbeats. Always like the way Run DMC use some reverb and delay on the voices as well to provide a bit of differentiation between the different vocalists and the messages are normally a little bit more positive than some of the other hip hop at the time. Absolute must have on your Christmas playlist, Christmas in Hollis by Run DMC. Thanks for tuning in people, it's always appreciated. Hope you enjoyed today's review. Remember to hit that subscribe button but also give this video a thumbs up like. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.